So TikTok rebel Mizzy is in the media again after being released from prison in new videos posted just days after being handed a slap on the wrist for a series of pranks that included a home invasion. In videos posted on Twitter the, the other night, the teenager whose real name is Bakari Bronzo Garo appeared to celebrate outside HMP Tameside after being granted bail following alleged breaches of the terms of a criminal behaviour order. Ogaro from Hackney, East London, previously appeared at Thames Magistrates Court on Wednesday and admitted failing to comply with a community protection notice. Judge Charlotte Crangle issued him with a two-year criminal behaviour order, including that he must not directly or indirectly post videos on social media without the documented consent of those featured in the content. Mizzy, 18, sparked outrage with his antics, culminating in him putting a family at risk by walking into their home with others pretending he was trying to find a study group. He was granted bail the other day after spending bank holiday weekend behind bars at HMP Tameside. On Wednesday, he released a video alongside a lengthy statement on social media in which he admitted to having put my mind into Mizzy being the biggest menace in the UK. In a video posted following his release from custody, Ogaro emerged from behind the HMP Tameside sign, outside the prison, nodding and grinning as he clutched his possessions in a plastic bag. He yelled, yeah man, as he celebrated his release from prison to the sound of laughter from the friend filming. Ogaro boasted, we outside. Pointing to the sign, Ogaro sipped from a bottle and grinned widely at the camera. He posted the video with the caption, the movement is real. In a second video posted just over an hour later, Ogaro filmed himself in a car being driven by a friend with a second person in the rear seat behind him. One of the friends makes a rude gesture at the camera as loud music plays alongside the post o Ogaro wrote, everyone consented to be in the video, following by two laughing emojis. He added, hashtag Mizzy is back. Under the terms of his CBO, Ogaro is not allowed to post any videos containing other people without their express consent to feature in it. He is also banned from certain places, including Westfield Shopping Centre in Stratford, East London. The teenager was charged by the Met Police on Saturday with three alleged breaches of his criminal behaviour order after being released a day earlier. Rose Edwin, prosecuting, had told Thames Magistrate Court at a previous hearing that two of the three alleged offences took place last Thursday with Ogaro accused of posting a video on social media without the consent of the peop people featured. The court heard he also visited the Westfield Centre in Stratford. Ogaro allegedly visited Hackney last Friday where he is accused of posting a video on social media without the consent of the people featured. He denied the charges when he appeared in court on Saturday but was remanded in custody over the bank holiday weekend before his release the other day. It is understood that he was remanded over the weekend after his mother refused to allow him back home. Speaking outside court, Ogaro claimed the breach of the CBO was not his fault. He said, I explained to the court that I didn't know the breach was on my terms because they didn't give me the map for the CBO around Westfield and stuff like that. So hopefully that gets bust. I need to alternate the conditions. Since Ogaro's arrest, previous videos have come to light, including showing him lying on the top of a moving bus and entering a driver's compartment in a train in Stratford. Following a court appearance last Wednesday, he bragged about his antics in a TV interview with Piers Morgan, declaring, UK laws are weak. On Wednesday, Ogoro issued a statement on social media in which he revealed he was a father of one and apologised to a family after he walked into their house while their young children were at home. He tweeted, I made a very dumb, stupid mistake. A house is supposed to be a safe space where you know you can relax without being in any sort of distress and me walking into that house was a very big violation to the homeowners. They had kids and I have a child myself, so I know how protective people get over their children. If anybody came into my house on a weird flex and my child was there, I don't even know what I would do, but I just know it wouldn't end well. He added he had put my mind into Mizzy being the biggest menace in the UK adding it may not have been the best choice. In a video alongside the statement, Ogaro said he was not a bad guy and not all my pranks are bad.